Okay, this is part four of the false breakout trading strategy video series. This one we're going to look at purely swing false breakouts and the considerations you need to take into account when evaluating the setup and look at plenty of examples um, just like we did for part three which was the support and resistance one okay so the considerations for a swing FB is price returning to a clear swing high low it needs to be clear otherwise you're not going to get the stop loss build up and the breakout trader order flow build up Okay, was there a strong supply demand imbalance at the, at the initial swing high low? Okay, so did price leave it with good momentum? So is it a clear swing low? That's what defines as a clear swing high or swing low. Does it does it look good like a look like a good double bottom double top formation? Okay, a U inverted U. That's generally the ones which will be obvious to a lot of people in terms of looking at those swings and looking for the order flow build up. Okay. And just like we did for SRs, so we're looking for a clear buyer seller trap, so either a material false break or price hitting clear supply and demand, which is going to be less likely because you're more likely to be going into new high, new lows with a swing FB than you are with an SR FB. So you're going to have um, less occasions where that's going to happen. So instead, we need to be looking for a material false break. Um, is the market trending or moving sideways? Okay, we generally don't want to be taking trades against strong immediate trends or strong impulsive moves okay going going strongly counter trend you know that's what we want to avoid it's not saying it's not tradable but you're not going to get the high probability setups um, the higher expectancy setups and the easier to an analyze setups um, when you're going strong strongly counter trend okay can we conclude that the setup is not just supply demand consumption and again, just like for the SR and FB, do we have the pause consolidation and swing test? Okay. So firstly, to look at some impulsive moves. Okay. Clear swing low, price left it with great momentum, stands out as a swing low. We've come close before, but you know the order flow here hasn't been hit clearly. Now we have we're always going to be coming down with strength with a with a trend move because. Okay, it's not like an inverted U because of this move within here, but it still is a a clear overall inverted U shape. And we're always going to be coming back down in a trend-like fashion because you know, price is coming back from a distance, not like an SR where it can be moving sideways. But the nature of the setting is important here, combined with the weak force break. Okay, I said before, we want to avoid scenarios where we have strong immediate selling combined with a weak force break and no other information because that stands a good chance it becomes more 50 50 what's going to happen next is this demand consumption paving the way for just to move lower in line with this strong setting or is this an fb it's very difficult to reach an objective conclusion that it's more likely to be an fb when we don't have any other information to hand okay and as you can see in this case it was a small fb strong setting large uncertainty over whether this is demand consumption and it goes and makes a new lower low so the force breakout this this isn't a force breakout this is a force breakout price doesn't make a new lower low it's important to remember that price making a new lower low is not basically you haven't traded the force breakout then if it breaks makes a new lower low and still is a force breakout then that's the force breakout okay that's a new force breakout then we have the breakout okay before price gets reversed Okay. Doesn't mean the whole scenario, or the whole area won't result in a in an overall a false breakout. But that's not what what we're trading here. We're trading the the specific false breakout using logical objective stop loss place placement to maximise our R and looking for quick momentum moves back up. Okay, and with a setup like this, you can't conclude that this is a good false breakout. So that for me is is, is a no trade. Okay, for someone else it might be. I'm going to risk a quarter or half of what I normally risk because. You know, it depends on your risk tolerance, but for me this is more 50-50 and it's important to understand why. Same again. Strong trend light move. Very small force break. And you could say, you know, it worked out in terms of it came back to this area here, but you know, I'm not gonna be taking a setup that offers just that compared to this strong move. I mean I'd rather be looking for the breakout to go higher. Looking to get in I'd rather be looking to get in long on the retest of this former supply chain demand expecting the breakout higher considering the strong buying behind it there's not much value in trying to sweat over looking for a handful of pips down to here 
relative to the whole, the overall move and what's likely to happen if price breaks out. We have a for, small force break which is broken by a new higher high, so it's in so it's been invalidated anyway. And this one, if you're trading this one, it offers no value because you're straight into supply, supply, and demand. Okay. So these are exaggerated examples, but they're examples where I wouldn't be taking the trade because there's too much uncertainty with regards to supply or demand consumption and becomes more of a 50-50 trade, which is not obviously what we look to trade. Now I said we want to look for strong rejection signs or material force breakouts. Okay, this is one where we don't have, this is not too strong a trend, price is always going to be moving back in a trend like fashion because of the nature of swing force breakouts but we can see here the force breakout doesn't stand out as good rejection okay I don't look at that and think yeah that's that's definitely caught a load of people offside it's, it just looks like a normal bar in the normal course of things if you look at the overall picture look at the types of wicks you get and the types of bars we get it just it doesn't stand out to me as rejection okay with swing FBs you have to be slightly pickier you have to be looking for the ones that stand out Either that or you have more information to tell you that it's more likely to be an FB because this one again, you know, there's no strong trend, but that does just doesn't stand out to me as as likely to be a, a false breakout having caught a load of traders offside. Okay. Same again, this time we have another strong setting into the area, clear swing low price spends a decent amount of time and distance apart that's what I mean by the inverted U okay you're not always going to look like a inverted U or, or a U shape but it's more looking for the double top double bottom type formation in terms of price spending a decent time right, this axis away from this area and decent space in terms of this axis away so that's what I mean by the, the U or the inverted U or the double top double bottom scenario and price having left this area with good momentum which it has but it's just a weak force breakout that doesn't stand out as, as rejection I'd rather short there than go long because this one two three four one two three four five strong bearish bars I'm not saying I'm never going to go against strong selling but not in this scenario where you've got a tiny force breakout like that this stands a higher chance of being demand consumption paving the way for a move lower than it does a false breakout so if I had to take a trade here I'd actually rather take a short I'm looking for setups which are clear and you get many of them they stand out that ones that are going to be easy false breakouts leading to good momentum reversals okay and there are plenty of them within the forex market and other asset classes Now just like with SR FBs, we can use demand, price in demand, supply and demand to, to assist us in our analysis. As I said, this doesn't occur as often because of the nature of swings. But here we have a swing low, clear swing low, price left with great momentum, nice little inverted U, strong selling down. Okay, so without this demand and without this strong rejection, strong force break, this would be a concern. But we have a strong force break of this low. So this stands out because we had strong selling. So for price to reverse it this much, that tells me strong buying came in here for this type of reversal between the set and the move down and the actual the amount of the bar that's being reversed. And if you compare it to this force break to that one, you know, it's nearly half the bar. It's just under half the bar that's being reversed from these lows so that says to me strong buying now the fact that it's hit supply demand more importantly demand here demand here again okay, it's not the first time back to it but it's still come from demand that combined with material force breakout makes this tradable the probabilities are stacked in my favor yeah it's not a plus it's not the the most obvious setup you're going to see but it's still a tradable setup that's going to give me a positive expectancy if i trade it over and over again so it's a setup I'm going to take. Some examples of strong rejection. Okay. Now the first thing 
look at this well this is a, a small force breakout isn't this going against what I said previously but then this is about looking at the overall picture though as well look what price has also broken back below supply supply confirmed with the the test here the lunge up we have a false breakout of this side but we've also got a false breakout of this area here it's not like a, a clear swing high or anything it's more like a, a zone or an SR zone or an SD zone but there's still going to be orders placed above here there's still going to be stops placed above here because this is the last swing high area so there's still going to be traders going long here and the fact it's a double FB in that way okay this one by itself wouldn't be one I'd be particularly keen on but the fact that it's it's FB'd above this area and this area which is the more major swing high and look how what's happened to price in terms of how it's closed so very strong rejection overall yeah it's not a material force break above this one but above the whole area and looking at the bar as a whole in terms of it's been rejected from here and look where it's closed we basically confirm this area of supply a little supply consumption going on in there then we've had the lunge up and then we've closed lower so the selling strength that's come in here to cause this price, cause to reverse price from up here down to there within this time frame, has to be has to have been extremely strong. We have strong buying, so this strong buying's been reversed as well with a standout rejection bar. The overall the force break of the overall double area is strong, and the bar itself stands out relative to the preceding bars. It stands out as rejection. Okay, price retests its areas as supply because this is supply turn demand on the way down and turn supply again before moving lower so that's what I mean about looking at the overall picture you could look at that and dismiss it on oh, no it's a small FB but you know you've got to look at the overall picture the overall bar the overall strength of rejection okay again strong trending move down here then down here but then price consolidates or well, it doesn't consolidate but it slows down it loses momentum we have a little wedge channel compression channel going down down here clear inverted U shape overall in terms of the way price leads the air and comes back material FB this one's an FB this one's too small okay it's easy to say because it didn't work out but it is it's, it's small it doesn't screen rejection it's not like the other bar it doesn't, doesn't look anything like this bar in terms of its size how much it stands out relative to the overall move and the overall picture itself this is a weak looking bar with a, a small a small force breakout okay this one's not this one stands out okay material force break below that swing low now just like I described with SRs in terms of basing before or the pause then the lunge the pause breakout price consuming supply turn demand then move lower that's that's a good sign for FB uh, swing FBs and it's more useful swing FBs than it is SR FBs because SRs you should you know we should be able to conclude that it is an SR it has got order flow out because the number of touches it's had before and the fact that it is a clear SR the very nature of the fact that it's an SR means it has 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 had multiple touches and therefore it's a clear decision point clear supply demand zone a swing FB there's more uncertainty of this because obviously it's only been tested once in the past okay so if you have a test like this it confirms there was supply there therefore price has to overcome this supply to cause the force breakout and then overcome it again as demand on the way down which confirms to us the likely selling strength behind this force breakout and if price is basing before that or i.e. consolidating before it has the lunge even better especially more so if it's going against strong recent buying in this case so strong buying sideways consolidation the pause the test material FB rejection we have another but it doesn't cause a new higher high so the FB is still valid and move down another one here this one's probably a better example strong selling strong selling strong selling into it but we pause okay we don't cause an FB there we pause it confirms this as demand support in a way it's not true support, you don't touch a two touch level as you know an obvious support level, but we confirmed it as a decision point, i.e. demand. We have a rejection, i.e. the sideways moving, the pausing, the consolidation, and then the the clear lunge lower. And then we eventually move up to this supply. There's not much space in this setup, but it's more to highlight the strong move down, 
consolidation touch touch this form of swing low as support as a decision point as demand then the material falls break the lunge down and that's a good sign that helps us to it helps to conclude that this isn't demand consumption this this bar isn't demand consumption it helps us to conclude that with high probability that it does if price just came straight down and had a, a small FB down here okay and that is it um, so I've been over all the considerations needed to analyze a swing force breakout and an SR force breakout the next video and I've included as many examples as I can of different types of scenarios in terms of what not to look for and what to look for um, the next video I'm going to talk purely about trade management which will be the last video so talking about entries um, placement of stops different options and where to exit either based on an FLR, FLS or based on price action itself.